Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Chirag Vaishnav, and in today's video, we will have a look at five mistakes that a beginner Android developer must avoid. So do watch till end, and let's get started. The most recent estimate puts the number of app developers around 26.4 million across the globe, out of which 6 million solely work for Android. which clearly states that android is the most widely used operating system and whenever one starts with android development there are some mistakes that many people make with questions like how can we speed up our development or how to create or particularly make a development roadmap and a lot lot more and that's what we will discuss so during developing an android application we make a lot of common mistakes and that's not the issue that we are making mistakes but it is always a bigger issue if we are not learning from our mistakes learning from our mistakes should be in our attitude as an android developer so here we have covered top 5 mistakes that a beginner android developers do so let's start with the first one the first in the list is not using libraries while android development there are a lot of instances where we just need to complete some specific task and for that we do not require to start coding from scratch instead of that we can use some prebuilt libraries that will do the work for us and if we are not using that particular library it simply means that developer has to do more work for example if we are making network calls to the server from our application and we are not using any library then we have to code more and it is making no sense if we are wasting our time on something that is already been done by someone and kept the use for public there are many useful libraries in android that saves a lot of time and also makes our development journey smooth some of which are picasso for image loading retrofit for network calls json for json parsing and asni for social login and a lot lot more second mistake is giving more attention to older api versions of android So yes you heard it right using older versions of android is a mistake that many android developers make android has introduced many new more components now and it's increasing day by day and by using those components in your application you can make your application development journey really smooth easy and flexible but if you are stuck to those older api versions your application may be lagging behind as you can make more scalable and user friendly application with the help of the new components that is introduced by the android that are not present in the older versions of the api the third mistake is fail to use data binding properly using data binding we can remove most of our boilerplate code uh, with the help of data binding we can implement whatever we like as it shortens our efforts uh, means with the help of fewer lines of code we can implement more number of classes and methods it also provides us features that helps us testing our user interface moreover data binding is something that should not be used too much Uh, because if you try to do that uh, then probably your app size will increase also your build process will become heavier all that said finding the perfect balance is more important here as using data binding will for sure help you to implement a lot of things but excess use of it may increase the app size and make the process more heavy uh, so it is advised to find the perfect balance fourth is not fulfilling user experience so a huge amount of android applications are already being published to play store and the idea on which you are working and making your application most probably someone has already implemented it as developers around the world are working constantly on creating a new idea and it is really difficult uh, to create a new app idea that stands out from the crowd and if you want to get an upper edge over others you should try to implement what user wants that application to deliver like to ensure that the navigation is seamless user interface is appealing and features are according to the user expectation with a better color combination and a lot lot more fifth mistake that an android developer make is neglecting the research there are many aspects that a android developer should take care of during the whole development journey doing some research is one of the factors behind every successful application on play store your research should contain statistics that you need for your product like types of consumers or how can you approach them and market your application and a lot lot more you can also use crash report analytics to see where your app is not working properly or crashing so that you can improve it for a better user experience also there are tools like proguard which makes it nearly impossible to decode your application code from your apk to reduce piracy and it also helps to reduce your application size as well so these were the five mistakes that a beginner android developer must avoid in order to reduce code and make development quick and smart i hope it was helpful for you guys if you are having any doubt regarding whatever i have explained in this video do ask in the comment section also 
also you can refer to a lot of articles on geeks for geeks website so do check it out so do like this video subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching